What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna break down what exactly is drop shipping. And I've broken it down into four simple steps where you kind of see the process from start to finish and then how you actually make your profits and your money, right? So first and foremost, before we start, I want you to think of it like you're, you're basically running your own online shop, okay? And the cool thing is, depending how you choose to run it, there's several options, but most people don't actually have to touch the physical product. They pay someone else to take care of it. Think of it like you're the middleman or the middle woman between the buyer and the actual fulfillment of the product, right? So how it works is very simple. First thing you need to do is you need to set up your own store. Most people use what's called Shopify. You've probably heard of Shopify now. It's been blowing up the last few years and is the most popular platform for e-commerce, specifically when it comes to dropshipping, right? So you can set up a store in as little as a few hours if you somewhat know what you're doing. It's, it's very user-friendly and it doesn't require any advanced coding skills or you know experience when it comes to web development, which is a huge pro to it. Also, it has amazing e-commerce functions. So when we find products we wanna sell, we can add them, sometimes with a click of a button if we use certain softwares, but really on our own in a matter of minutes if we have all the text for the product description and the product images or videos, okay? So that's the first step. The first step is you need to set up your Shopify store, okay? Things you'll need with this, very simple. You use the standard theme that comes with the store for free, or you can choose to use a, a premium theme, which I tend to use on most of my stores, okay? The other thing with Shopify stores is you're gonna need some type of way to process payments. So typically this is done initially with PayPal and Stripe are the most common choices that people make, okay? You can use third party payment processes and merchants as well. It's just your personal preference, but most people are gonna start off perfectly fine in a matter of minutes getting set up with PayPal and Stripe. You'll also ideally want to have your own business entity, which if you're in the US can be done in as little as a few clicks online, which is pretty cool. You can literally have your own business entity within minutes and take that to your bank, have your bank account open. It's really way too easy today, okay? So once you have your store set up, you'll need to install a few apps. It just helps with other things, which we'll talk about in you know, several of my other videos where I show you how to recover uh, sales when people come to your store, they don't make the buying decision, they leave, how to get them to come back. So other things like apps will help you do that. And once again, it's so easy how fast these things can be done today, right? So I can add apps that help me do those things like recover lost uh, potential customers in a matter of seconds with a couple clicks, okay? So setting up the store is the first thing. Once you have your store set up, you then need to find products. Where do you find products? Well, you can sell things of your own, right? If you have physical items you just wanna sell one-offs of, great. What most people do is they source and find products from what's called AliExpress. You can look up AliExpress.com right now. You're gonna see everything and anything you could think of from apparel to cosmetics to health supplements. Whatever it is that you wanna find, you can probably find it in AliExpress. Okay, now you're not gonna necessarily be buying directly off AliExpress. We'll talk about how you actually fulfill those orders, but I like to start with AliExpress to get a gauge of what's available to me, what my cost is gonna be. Typically what you wanna do, you wanna sell the item that you're selling, you wanna sell it to your buyer for about three times the price, right? So your customer's gonna be paying typically about three X what it's costing you. That's gonna vary a lot but that's a good general gauge, sometimes between three to four X, with some exceptions around that. We're not, we're not gonna get into detail with that today. Once you have found the product that you wanna use, a lot of these products actually come with not only high quality images, but also videos you can use from the AliExpress store. So literally you can have a product on your Shopify store and a product page made for it, on the same day. It's pretty amazing. That's why, that's why people love this business because you'd be up and running so quickly. So once I found the product that I want to sell, I adjust the price, I create the product page, I make a nice long, persuasive, sales copy driven format to my product page to entice people, give them reasons, emotionally driven reasons to take the action to make the purchase today. After that, my store is set up. 
real simple. You're gonna need to then go and open up a Facebook ad account, okay? This can be done in a number of ways, but you can just do it off of your personal profile if you wanna get started quickly. Once you have your ad account set up, you can then start to make your Facebook ads to drive traffic back to your product page so people can then make the purchase and you actually make money with drop shipping. okay? This is the most traditional method. This is what most people are doing. They're running Facebook ad traffic back to their product page and they make a difference on the sale. So if they spend $10 in ads, it costs them $10 to purchase and ship the product. They sell it for 40, that leaves $20 left over to put into your pocket. So what I would then do is test and there's tons of different methods. I have my own method that we use, you know, but basically what you wanna do, you, once you have the product page made, you have your product selected, you know the numbers, your page description is ready, you set up your Facebook ad campaigns and you test to find the right audiences that will be interested in buying your product. And there's a lot of different approaches, like I said, you can take with this, but it's very, it's a lot simpler than you would think. You know, Facebook is so advanced today that they do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. So you may test a couple, let's say I'm selling um, shoes, right? I can literally target people that are interested in shoes. I can target people that are interested in fashion. I can target people that are interested in footwear and streetwear, right? It's really amazing and interesting how, how simple this is today. So that's what you do is, you then run Facebook ads and drive people that are ideally targeted in what you have to sell back to your page to make a purchase. Once you hear your ching, once you make your first sale, once you start seeing sales come in, it's time to fulfill those orders. How do we do it? Very simple. You can go back to that uh, exact seller that you found on AliExpress that listed the product that you're selling and you can purchase directly through that. That is one option. Now there are other apps. Remember we talked about how simple the apps are that plug right into our store that can actually one click fulfill these orders for us. So we're actually making the purchases through the app to the seller of the, the product, right? And then it's then being shipped direct to our buyer, our customer. So that's the, the process in a nutshell. What I recommend you do once you have your store set up, once you have the products, once you decide to run ads, and then once you see orders coming in and you want to fulfill, is to develop a relationship with one of the suppliers that you find through AliExpress or from just your own network. You know, like I've had made a lot of the best relationships and connections through my own personal network through other people I've met in the industry, right? But Having someone that you work directly with is gonna serve you best in the long run because as you go from selling one to 10 of these things, whatever it is you choose to sell, whether it's shoes or watches or whatever it may be, to selling a couple hundred or maybe even a couple thousand a day, AliExpress is no longer going to serve you. You're going to then want to have someone that's actually fulfilling these orders for you, okay? And that's where having a relationship with a supplier can really change the game for you and just make sure you're taken care of. Right? The reason why this business is so attractive, I'll explain in just a second, but just to give you a quick recap, so you really get what this business is. This is probably one of the most simple business models you'll ever see, right? You set up your store, you add products, you run Facebook ads, and then you ideally, if you have a good product, you make sales and you fulfill those sales. And you fulfill those orders for, for all the sales that you've made, right? So how do you make money? Very simple, the equation here it is. So your sales revenue minus the cost of your product, your cost of your goods, right? Minus your ad spend, and then minus miscellaneous expenses such as merchant processing fees, you know, every transaction is gonna come with a small percentage that the merchant's gonna take, your store, right? So you're gonna have to pay Shopify a small subscription amount, and a couple other things that go with that. But ultimately, you make the difference between these three expense categories, right? And that's it. And the reason why it's so attractive is because you're not buying thousands of units up front. You're not having to rent a warehouse to get started. This business is the easiest business to get going with, especially in, in 2020, right? Because they're going to start a brick and mortar business. They're going to start a restaurant. You're going to have to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars and it may not even work out. And you still got a lease and all these 
hard assets that you're probably still paying bills on for years, right? So you may not even recoup your money for two, three, five years with a with a brick and mortar business. Whereas with something like dropshipping, you could be profitable next month. Now, this is just a general overview, but this should give you a really good idea about how the business works and also why you probably want to do it too. Go ahead and stay tuned for my next video where I break down how dropshipping actually works in more detail, okay? But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, all right? And keep in mind that, you know, in my case study where I break down how I made nearly $35,000 in one day with one product, I'm gonna show you exactly how all this works in a little more depth. So make sure to look for that in the description as well. And I hope this helps you make the right decision if dropshipping is the right business for you.